So tonight we're taking a look. Uh, we're just working. Uh, we're again still still working through the Kion Hapo, and uh, an important element of the Kion Hapo is Hicho, and it is uh, it's something that uh, you look at this movement, and it's what what are some of the uses? I'm going to go with some of the dark belts first. What are some ways you've used Hicho? Um, the place where your weight centered when you're moving. Period. <laughs> okay. What, uh, what's what's a way you've used Hicho? Sword slash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. Another way you you use Hicho. Set, Set up for a kick, okay? I was going to say defend against kicks. Defend against kicks, absolutely. Uh, Randy. Don't mind, avoid a kick. Okay, yeah. Balance. Balance. Interesting. I like that's a good answer. Turning defense and offense. Turning defense and offense. Okay, I like it. Quick way to charge in. Quick way to charge in, dropping weight. Pivot. Yes, absolutely. Uh, so we we I I like that answer too because how many times have you seen this sort of maybe Yoko Ruki step kind of coming from a hicho? So there's a lot of utility to it. Let's start with something really straightforward. Uh, think of this as almost maybe capping warm up. Let's approach it with this energy to start. If I have Mr. Hank here, uh, we're gonna start off with something fairly straightforward. I'm gonna deal with a left, just a left jab, and he's gonna kind of come in and not not just kind of a going. Huh, po He's going to come in and crush me, yeah, crush me with that jab a little bit. This is a lot of energy coming in. Uh, we're going to, yeah, we're going to get right the heck out of Dodge. We're not hanging around. We're, we're dropping back and getting out of here. We've unfortunately left this leg, this juicy, tender thigh, right available for a nice roundhouse kick. He opens up, and he's throwing that around. We've all seen this. We've all been hit by it at some point, and yikes, you know, tough situation. So... Again, that jab's coming in. Good. He's on target. He's penetrating with it. We're stepping back, gaining some distance. That kick's coming around. We're getting this leg out, and then we're going to kind of crash back in with Jumanji. Okay? Very, very straightforward. Uh, any questions that anybody need to see or feel? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Uh, so you can see as well. Uh, Kim. Kim, if I may. So that left jab is coming in, and yes, this, thing, this thing's going to penetrate. In fact, I actually want you to come in kind of hard. Yeah, woo, that kick's coming around. Yeah. And then we're just coming right back in with this Jumanji. Very straightforward. Think of this as Kamai work, less fighting. Okay? Yosh. A lot of uh, a lot of the future success in step two or step three of whatever you're working on is going to be largely dependent on where things were with step one. It's nice to be able to sort of create stuff on the fly and fly by the seat of your pants a little bit. Oftentimes it's what you're doing, but we're kind of working with something prepared. So I'm dealing with that jab. If I put myself right over here to the side, I, step one is I don't think I'm going to get that roundhouse kick. Do you feel good throwing that right roundhouse kick all the way around here? Nope. Nah, I don't, I don't think so either. Uh, but if you did, <laughs> and I was here, um, what's the, I'm kind of close to him. I may be a little out of alignment here. He goes to throw that kick, and I'm just like, oh, my God. I'm trying to get my leg out of there. I'm getting kicked in the hip, the back. It's kind of nasty. So let's uh, let's keep this very clear. Back at about forty-five degrees. Yes. Now, now we're looking a little bit better. We're in a, we're in a better position for him to want to throw that kick, and for us to successfully defend that kick. Yes. Okay, Yosh. Two words. Uh, one of the uh, freeze. One of the reasons why uh, why we're able to go through positions well, why we're able to flow through these kamai, is because we're keeping good structure. And part of good structure is keeping your hips. Your hips and knees a little bit low, a little bit of relaxation in here, yes? So as that first punch comes in, if I'm high up here, I'm already in a little bit of trouble. I'm going to throw this hicho. I'm going to be off balance. So, okay, we'll settle in. That kick comes in. Yay, I've done hicho. And then it's very easy to want to straighten up and push over the top. Instead, let's have this feel kind of low, sneaky. And by, the and by the time we've landed, we're still kind of on balance. I'd like us to practice having that good structure. We're not nailing them with this Jumonji, but I don't want to uh, just kind of say, okay, <laughs> you know, we got you. I want to move my, into their space a little bit and take some of their structure away from them. Yeah? Yes. Mr. Randy throws that jab. I've moved off. Now, this leg is out, right? It's kind of out in front of me a little bit. That might be accident. It might be kind of on purpose. Maybe I want, maybe I want him to go after this leg. He sees this juicy target. He's been doing Muay Thai for years. He goes to throw that kick. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted to have happen. So be skillful enough with your initial movement to be an Ishimonji and understand that this is a little bit of a lure. 
Uh, or it can be a little bit of a lure. Have fun. Yosh. Yeah. Hey. All right. So uh, here's something I'm noticing. Uh, Miss Kim, can I, can I borrow you as my attacker? Um, I'm seeing this uh, just a left, just to keep it easy. Moving off. And am I in Ichimonji? No. Why not? Yeah. I've been seeing this a lot. Uh, check this out. Where we're kind of already, we know we're supposed to be falling back in with this Jumonji. Think about this as a way of staying safe, not just as a way of saying, I get to crash into them with Jumonji no Kamai. So that same jab comes in. We're back. We're back. Ooh, now we're moving in. Now we can, now we can kind of incline forward into the Kamai. Yeah? Okay, Yosh, couple. One extra thing I want us to be aware of. I have Mr. Hank coming in with that jab. Uh, so we've stepped off. And we know right now that this leg is the target. I haven't moved off to a very good Ichimonji. We see that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of upright. I'm maybe even a little bit forward. I'm too fighty. Uh, so one of the reasons why I want to make sure I'm defensive here, that jab comes in. And I have this like, this like little leg defense. And I think he's going to kick me in the leg. He comes to kick. He's going to kick me high. Woo! At the very least, we're still able to control where we put our position. That kick's coming in. I thought he was going to kick me in the leg, but no, he's been doing Taekwondo for nine years. And he goes to kick me in the head. I want to make sure that with, that with uh, yeah, I'm not going to have very long to make that decision. If I'm doing this here, conk, that's, that, that's the KO. I don't want that. So let's, uh, let's change this a little bit. Same attack. We're going to kind of drift Migi, or, or sorry, to Migi Ichimonji. We're coming to the inside. Now I have this round kick coming to the inside of my thigh. Bam, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that, that sucks. Who's, who here has been tagged with that one? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so let's, as that kick comes in, we're going we're to move, and we're actually going to pick a different direction. Instead of just kind of crashing back in at this guy, he's going to be coming back around to face me, and I'm going to step off to here. So that jab's coming in. Migi Ichimonji. Hicho, whoa. Here we go. And I've, we've really kind of changed where we're going here a little bit. We're not just stuck in this forward back only. We can use this moment in balance to go a different direction. Sound good? Does anybody need to see that again? Would you like to see, sir? Would that be helpful? All right, who'd like to be the attacker? Sir, come on in, come on in. Uh, left jab's coming in. Yeah, Ooh. oh, we're gonna actually change this direction. Yeah, all of a sudden, oh, now, now you're back. Now here you go back into Hicho again. Maybe sleeps later, okay? Have fun, guys. Okay, Mate. Mate. So Hicho is incredibly important. It's incredibly important. Uh, obviously, water movement you know, is, is one of the things that we look at a lot. And all water movement has Hicho in it. If you ever watch somebody like Mr. Hayes just do like a randori, he's never here. He's usually here. He's in Hicho. But just that foot just happens to be down because Hicho is a zero point. I can go anywhere I want to with this. If I'm here in Ishimonji and I'm balanced, I'm really only on this line. Now, it's not until we get to like second, third degree stuff that we looked, how can we move from here without rocking our feet back to a position to take a step? Just like walking, right? For that one second, you're always kind of, you're, you're for a minute of time, for a second of time, you're always on one foot, right? Well, that's kind of what Hicho is here for us. We get into something like this, typically we come back to get our weight onto that one foot, so then we can go. Hicho is that point that we're here and everything is now possible. Like I said, later on, we'll look at how can you move from somewhere without having to go from Hicho, that's, but that's more black belt stuff. So, why Hicho is important, it's everywhere. It's literally everything that we do. Matt, just throw something out. One, two, here. I'm stuck, I'm in, kind of, you know, I'm in a decent, uh, not that great a position, but my next move, the next thing I need to do is get my weight onto one foot so I can walk and do something. Do we agree? Right? I need, or I need to come back here. I need to do something. So why don't I just find myself in that position to kind of begin with anyways? So Matt throws that first one out. He throws that second one out. I'm going to be here. Now, obviously, we got the kick and all that stuff. If you ever watch anybody and they say, oh, he chose about delivering a kick, they don't know what the hell they're talking about. They really don't. I need to get to this position to be able to move. So why stop here? If I have to go here anyways, why don't I just end up in a position where I can just go here and then do whatever I want to with Matt. So tonight, 
I want to look at stuff that we've all kind of seen, maybe not you quite yet, Leslie, but stuff that's kind of common, but I want to heat your eyes everything of it and look at the fact and the opportunities that it gives you. So let's just look at a classic, just kind of one, two, one, two, all right? I'm here, maybe he even grapples onto me for a second, all right? I'm gonna just move into heat show. Now, because of the way the grab is, and I don't care what side, it's gonna be this way, all right? Now from here, I'm gonna determine which way I wanna go. Uh, I'll go this way, okay? Or let's get back, in this, and then we're gonna rewind back to the same position. And maybe I go this way. Or hmm, maybe I go this way. So we're gonna do what I call a three option quantum mechanics kind of thing. You're gonna find yourself in a position. I don't care how you spawn, I don't care where you get to. It's just gonna be off a couple punches, it's gonna be a little bit different every time, and now I'm here. I'm gonna find myself in heat show. And then I'm gonna go one way. I'm not gonna take him down, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna go another way. Okay, I'm gonna go maybe a third way. And I'm gonna see how effective those are. Because I want you to get to a point where you get to here and you're just like, ah, I'll just go here. Yeah, I'll do that. Or, oh, maybe, oh, maybe I'll take him over here. Oh, 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 maybe I'll go over here. And don't worry about the arms. Just have, put them where they're naturally feeling. I want you to understand that being in this position gives you the opportunity to go multiple different ways. But you have to be here to do it. Do we understand the drill? I'll explain it one more time because I know I throw a lot at you. Two punches are going to come in. You're going to respond, respond, grapple in some odd position. You're going to move yourself into heat show. All right. From there, you're going to do three attacks. I'm going to step here, see what happens to Matt. I'm going to maybe step here, see what happens to Matt. Um, maybe I'll step over here, see what happens to Matt. And I'm not trying to pull him. Note, he's holding on to me. I'm seeing how he follows my motion more than anything else. Make sense? OK, stay with your current training partner for a second. This is an awareness drill. Put two punches come out. Okay, now we're not going to do it without going to heat you. I'm just gonna get into some type of grappling position. And I want you to notice what you do naturally. I need to go to heat you for a second. I need to go here. I need to be on this one foot to be able to get my hip to go by Matt. I need to come back to here to one foot to now free this foot to go up somewhere. The reason I'm going to heat you is to make it you see that you're doing it. This is, this is still Hicho. It's just a difference between here, me being able to do this or not. But I'm still in Hicho. All my weight's on this foot, so now I can go and do anything. Do we understand that? Sure. All right. So you're going to go now, same train partners, just getting it. One, two, grapple. Just get 50 50. Just kind of yeah, get there in a step and find, like, well, what, do I, what would I want to do next? Man, I'm probably going to shift my weight over to make the next move. Oh, there's Hicho. All right, and then we can go have fun. All right, I want you to notice that you do it already. Okay, go ahead. So I'll be aware of Mr. Arden. Could I, could I borrow you, sir, as my attacker? Uh, where we have that, uh, that left coming in, that right coming in, we're here. Uh, and we're, that punch is coming. We're saying, oh, my God, I need to get out of here. Um, and then something kind of curious is happening sometimes where folks are leaving parts of their body behind. So we're not doing this. For one. Yeah, yeah. All right, go ahead. Finish it. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead there. I'm dead. I've moved myself out of structure. I only moved a part of my body. Yeah. Instead, what I'd like to imagine is that uh, all of this, all of this is going to be moving together here. Now we're together. Now we have everything, all of our structure in one place, and everything gets a lot easier from there. Uh, another thing that will happen is folks will get to here, they'll place in, in position, and then start to work around. That's not terrible, but I don't like how easily I can get taken down from here. Uh, I'd like to have my movement have continued to affect him a little bit more. Do we see the difference there? Uh, so pay attention to that. Make sure that when you're coming through, wherever you're moving to, whether it's here, whether it's here, your shoulder's staying over your hip. It's moving with your body, with what you're doing. Okay? Yo, who here's been hitting the balls? Hey, I, I was, was, was going to say, trick, trick question. Uh, ladies go, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> so uh, let's play with this a little bit differently. Mr. Aaron, if I could borrow you, sir. Um, we're going to change the attack here a little bit. Instead of this sort of, uh, you know, one, two, kind of dealing with a boxer, this is maybe somebody who's a bit more pissed. 
They're coming in to grab, they're coming in to push you, move you around. Um, that's gonna be the kind of attack I deal with. Yeah, and I'm actually gonna, for the sake of training, let's have it be a right hand. Oh, perfect, this is what I'm looking for. We're not gonna let them get their hands on us. We're gonna slap them in the face and use wind for a moment. So that's coming in. And this is, this could be hapoken. Could just be an open hand slap. It could be fingers, a claw, a bit more, a uh, bit more nasty. And we're gonna kind of insert this leg in here. Now, we all have seen this, this little knee takedown, which is fun. Uh, but let's see if we can maybe do something a little bit harder. We're going to drift and bring this with us and just step off. We're going to have the hicho be a sweep. Slightly different angles are very slow, so we can all see. We've kind of got his weight. If you can't see his foot, come around and make sure you can see it. You can see that he's not on structure and feeling really happy. We've taken a little bit of that away. From here, Hicho, and we can turn and move. We can take him places. Would you like to see, sir? Um, yeah, may, may I bargain for so, uh, so right, right lunging grab. We're just hitting, fitting this in. There's a little bit of weight shift maybe off that leg. From here, I'm not just pulling up with my leg. We're drifting through with our body. This is a little bit more challenging than it looks like. If you're wearing a, if you're wearing a white gi, uh, a great way to start this is saying, can I fit in and can I pick this up and be in control? If you can get here and you're wearing a white gi, I'm really happy. Uh, once you have that, yeah, then you can kind of choose where you go a little bit. Uh, but let's uh, let's give that a try, shall we? Does anybody need to see or feel? Yosh, have fun. Difficulties are coming across. Any any big issues? Everyone's got it, sir. I'm big, wow. You're sleeping sir. with a... Oh, good. So, uh, so good. Then I have Aaron here. <laughs> so uh, one thing that will make this easier for you. Uh, so same right grabs coming. Ah, yeah, we've hit him in the head. He's out. He's dead. We've already won. Um... I don't want to pull him on to me. I don't want this. I, I don't like this. A, he's kind of got my back. His brain's a little rattled. He starts punching me in the back of the head. I don't really like that. Plus, very hard for me to lift his leg. His weight's on it. So make sure, very gentle. When we take this space, we're taking him back just a little bit. This is almost expansive. All right, from here. Now we, now we have this very light lift up. If you're trying to do this, um, actually, so, so uh, I missed your Adam. Dumbo. If, if you're working on this, <laughs> odds are you haven't taken his balance a little bit and you need to make sure you're entering that space some more. From there, this should feel pretty easy to do. Pretty easy to do. So did you all see what Mr. LeBay is doing to Adams? Mm. Let's just borrow you, Adam, real quick. Let me put you back in that position. Sure. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, that's, that's good. fine. Yeah. So I got Adam here. All right. Um, I'm going to leave Adam. You stay right there. Right. Go in Hicho, Adam. I'm putting him in Hicho. Right? I'm putting him in Hicho. But I'm blocking his ability to do it. If you want to try to do it, fine. Okay, good stand. So now Hicho isn't just a a isn't a offensive thing for us, right? It's an offensive thing in him, right? We see this all the time. He's stable, right? Right. I'm stable. I want to get unstable. Well, if he gets unstable, that means he's starting to walk. He's starting. To move. He's on one leg. Being on one leg can be a benefit. Can also be a massive detractor. Right. If I have him on back on one leg, he's going to want to move. Right? I think we know that. He doesn't like that. He feels like a coffee table. He's a one-legged coffee table. That's a problem. He goes to move, and great. I have something. So the, it's the yin-yang thing. It's a benefit for me. It's bad for him. But we have to be smart enough to recognize the difference that what I'm doing is I'm actually pushing Adam into a heat gel. And then I do a heat gel. And he's in the problem. Okay? Do we understand that? All right, just want everyone to see that. That Hicho isn't just, yeah, this is a great thing for us. It actually can also be used as a bad thing for him. All right? Go ahead. Speed part. No, cool. Everyone, I get it. I'd just like to make a comment. Sure. So I'm going to come you and you. Um, Ukes are very important in this one. Hi. Very, very important. So I am going to, obviously, I know I'm getting taken down in an odd way. 
right? My leg's gonna be splayed out. This looks like it could actually really hurt. And so maybe we get in this first position. I'm like, okay, so, and then I just relax and Zach tries to do the thing and it's like, mm. and it's really not there because I'm not participatory in this. I still have to give him a little bit of something Ooh. to deal with here. I'm still in this fight, you know, I'm still trying to get my ground back. Now his technique, oh, will work. All right, this is one of those ones because you know you're gonna be taken down in a weird way that you try to brace yourself ahead of time. It messes up the technique because the technique, you know, is based on fighting, right? If the person's not fighting, then just do something else. There is, uh, so on that entrance, I, mean, I actually, so funny enough, I, I, I had this conversation with a few of you kind of going around. Um, actually, Mr. White, if I, if I could steal that, that right lunging attack, this isn't, oh no, I've got, I've got to get out of here kind of windy style. He's, if I step away, he's not looking too bad. I haven't taken any space from him. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, kind of, yeah, getting in here, taking some space. And now this is, now this is all right there. Um, he thought he was going to enter that space. He gave a good, honest attack. And as a result, he's run to all the stuff and it screws him up. Um, if he comes in and he's, uh, he's like a noodle, uh, yeah. Oh, dude, yeah, everything gets hard from here. <laughs> this is, nah, he's just going to start clobbing me in the it's back of the head. It's hard fighting wet noodles. Yeah. Do not, <laughs> it really do, is. Do not, do not be a wet noodle. Yeah. They can't um, hit hard, but man, they're tough to take down. So, uh, so let's change the range of the, thank you very much, sir. Uh, let's change the range of Mr. Adam. Uh, say, uh, same right grab. Woo, we're just kind of, we're just, uh, actually, uh, let's do Ichimonji. Yes. Woo, here, here we go. We're kind of doing a situation. Yeah, he might get you, he might not. Uh, but we're kind of back. We have our weight back, and uh, just just using a heat show to just create a little bit of a shot to the groin. Uh, same attack. There we go. Oh, the opportunities! Yeah, <laughs> the opportunities are endless. Uh, but uh, I, what I really care about is: are we moving on balance? Are we getting a nice shot? And are we prepared for whatever the next? Uh, part of this is going to be. I don't want this to turn into striking heaven or striking hell, maybe. Uh, I, I just want to make sure that I'm using Ichimonji as a way now to set up this heat show. Um, it's not this, this giant kick, just a little chamber's a little stab. The nice part about a, sorry, sorry YouTube, uh, the nice part about a testicle is you can hit it about that hard and that's, that's enough to get most people to do something. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, to, to Mr. White's point, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a good feel. Uh, we, you can use Hicho as a fake. Um, maybe from here, just for the sake of practicing Hicho a bit, let's follow up with a second kick. We're gonna just right, just right to the side of the leg knee. Just this little inverted stomp kick. It could be a toe drive. It could be a toe drive. Very slow. <sighs> Just, cut, just coming through and we're just moving the body. And that's, on, that's above the knee. Yes. He's not kicking the side of the knee, he's kicking above the knee. Thanks. We're kind of pushing him out. He's going yeah. to be uh, egregious with this. You yeah. know, you flew through that knee and threatened somebody too. And you're trying to get them from here to here. That's it. You're trying to knock them off the side to the left. Give me a huge favor. Let's tighten the circle a little bit. Let's tighten the circle. And uh, we're just going to back up into Ichimonji. Oh. Kicho. A little toe stab, come back down, walking through. That's it, that's the kata. Award-winning gold medal Olympic karate kata. They're gonna love it and, uh, and uh, you're gonna win all the tournaments. <laughs> Questions on that? Have fun, thank you. Comes in, we move out of the way. What the hell are you doing, whip a snapper? One, step towards him, two, step towards him, three, you know? Just keep, keep moving, I mean, if he's, He's thinking, he's punching. All his concentrations appear. Okay, like, hey! you know, maybe bring his attention up there too. Whoa! Two, three, four. You know, just just keep walking through. I really want this to feel easy. I don't want to see people stretching for this. I've seen a lot of people that what's happening is this this kick is coming down here, and they're like, because they're are really afraid about walking into that, which is perfectly fine. I understand that, but as this comes down, have that be your step. To your next teacher, which is the kick. All right, he's holding on to me, so he's falling down with me. Boom. 
right? Walk right through them. Old man this. Make it easy. Make it natural, please. Go ahead. All right, come on. So this, these foot stomps and walk, uh, the angles have to be right. All right, so far he comes at me, boom, he comes at me again, boom, and I throw this up here. But as I do it, he steps back. Right now he's going to be a real, no, he's going to be perfect. I have a 90 degree attack angle to the side of his leg. I'm lined up great. Over. <laughs> but what if, as he said, his oh. knee was turned towards me? She needs to go out. I, I don't have the angle. I'm not, I can't do this to the front of his leg. I need to attack from the side. And this is a very hard kick. So I, I'm not going to do it. I don't have it. Now, could I go into this one? Yeah. I could just maybe oh, go into that one instead. Oh, great. Pop that one out. So don't, don't get frustrated if you see, oh, I can't make that kick work. Well, the kick has to be at the right angle. If the person just turns that knee a little differently, I, I don't have it. Okay? But is there something else I can do? Absolutely. We're going to get into Hicho through his ankle. Mm. We can get through it through your knee, which is great. We see that a lot. Mm. You know? But I like the ankle. I like you. <laughs> uh. I do. <laughs> it was all for the sake of learning. Mm -hmm. Okay? This, this is horrifically painful. All right? Because I'm putting my heel. I won't do it again, I promise. Mm right into the side of their ankle. Let's practice it with maybe going to their calf and make it, that's better. Yeah, That's so <laughs> much nicer. It is akin to a hooking heel kick. Well, basically it is a hooking heel kick, but you do this whack, man, that is brutal. So we're gonna be nice and pretend that their ankle is their calf. And then we can go from there. There's an important detail. Um, oh, I can't <laughs> There's an important detail, and I, ju I just want folks to be aware of when you're practicing this. I'll do this very, very gently. Okay. It's not uh, so. So here we are with our leg. We're not just kind of picking up our leg and then putting our leg here. This is like a little pendulum. Mm. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, it's and it's we're, yeah. We're not really hitting that all, all that hard, but that is the action. It, please don't do this and expect this to get quite the level of pain <laughs> response that you're. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good man Arden thank you so much yeah please uh please be aware of that so and uh last couple, it'll get old so for the last couple minutes we're gonna do the same exact thing that punch is coming in. I'm gonna fake that and I either have the toe drive or have the knee great or maybe I don't maybe I feel like I'm too far away so I'm actually gonna move off to the side and I'm gonna go just just know it just tap him let him know it's there hey. execute in or execute in all right so fine if that doesn't work for him, I'm just going to do it. All right. Do your Let's have fun with feet. All right. Sorry, guys. The secret was the next thing, but we're going to So let go. we're going we're gonna to let that go to Wednesday. Um, so everybody did very good, despite their own personal beliefs. Okay. There's something in Hicho, too, that we didn't tell you because we want you to kind of just experience and see the angles and understand that it's there first. But in Hicho, it's not just, that's really hard to do. If I'm sitting here on one leg, just perfectly straight, and I'm, oh, that's, I find myself teetering. And so, so if I'm moving like this, well, people don't move like that, right? You know, you, you walk, you don't just, you know, you don't do that. You sink into the step. Right? You take a step, you kind of sink into that step, help get your footing. You sink into the next step a little bit, help get your footing. Well, why wouldn't you do that here? When this comes back, you sink, you compress the whole thing. Center of gravity is lowered. I'm actually stepping on my calf. One knee's coming down, I'm actually creating like a little X at that pivot point to help direct everything down to keep me stable. All right? And I think we'll look at that later in the week. You know, say, great, you guys have the angles. You see the angles. Now, can you bring that emotion of as you go into heat show? It compresses. And now you won't find yourself going. You won't be doing those upper body gyrations to keep your lower body right. You can be here and this can go out. Come back. Whack. Come back. Toe drive. Come back. And you're because you're still here. You're centered. That makes sense. Did anyone feel? I'm gonna guess everybody felt that tonight when they were sitting up here and they're like throwing the kick and they realized they had to counterbalance their top to get it. 
Never want to do that. I saw it. So don't don't lie. I saw you do it. Okay. So now that you see the angles and realize that's it already in your movement, later in the week we're gonna look at. It. Okay, great. Now let's have it so we can actually bring it here. We can execute without being tippy. Wow. Makes sense. And you're at home, brushing your teeth. Settle into it. Go to the other one. Settle into it. Get used to that movement. Just being here. You'll see your feet are going to adjust, strengthen them a little bit. And you're like, okay, this is good. And then just relax. Come back. The tighter you are, it will make it harder. Relax in that position. I mean, it is a yoga position, tree pose, if I'm correct, right? Um, it's great for balance. I like watching a snowboarder surfer over there, just balancing and yeah. easy, easy. Yeah, this is what it is. You know this. Yeah, this is his thing. Yeah. 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 Right. Look how relaxed he is. Do that again. He's just hanging out. He's not bored. <laughs> I mean, if we imagine if we can get into a place that we're actually in a fight and we can actually be here on one leg, half board and relax and ready to move, you know, and we can actually execute from there. That would be great. And so this is one. This is why I don't really recommend a lot of homework for people. I want them to study and, and chase it however passionate they were. This one, I would say definitely see if you can. Brushing your teeth, something like that. Just can you hold it in the shower? It's just, da, 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 da. Yeah, can you oh, hold the it? Shower where it's slippery. <laughs> That's advanced. <laughs> That's advanced, Zach. It's advanced. Um, but you know what I'm saying. You can easily throw throw, you know, half a dozen of those in during the course of your day, and you'll find out you'll strengthen your foot. You'll get that sense of balance really, really good. Let's come on. Up. Hi yo. What's going on? So, uh, no, that was good. The heat show, again, is one, is, this is a, one of the classes I think that are important for people. They're all important. But this heat show is the basis of all future movement that you'll do in this art. If you really can't grasp this and how really this can work for you and work does work for you, you'll only ever get to a certain point. And it could be a high-level point. I mean, you can, you can make it into black belt, you know, doing that and stuff like that. But if you want to get to, like, some serious rank, you know, you really have to understand this. Then you have to understand how to violate it. Yeah. Um, but questions, thoughts. It's, it's so good to see you here on Monday, Mr. Prince. Yeah, it's awesome, man. Oh, we miss you. Mr. Ryder? Thank you. Leslie, good to have you back. Okay. All right. Traveling and then got a head cold, so I'm back as soon as I could be. Awesome. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Lana, great to see you too. Oh, but yeah. the um, could I steal one or two volunteers for five minutes after class? Just five minutes. So we're going to do some YouTube shorts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. Good. Yeah. I got a couple. Excellent. All right, cool. All right, guys. Nice job. Oh, my goodness, my stuff. Watch out for the dog. <laughs> I know. So, yes, pit bull defense. Pit bull defense. Oh, I know.